And I really hope that you're in the mood for a big list because get this, I went ahead and picked out 25 fidget knives, which I consider to be some of the absolute best to Spidey Flick. So what the heck does a good Spidey Flick and knife, what does that even look like? Well, usually it's going to have, you know, thumb holes like this PM2, but it doesn't have to because there's also some out there like this real steel rocket where you can use the fuller and it opens up just as fast. Now, if you happen to be here for the very first time, my name is Jay. Go ahead, hit subscribe for knife reviews that get right to the point. Now, if you're interested, all the links to buy, coupon codes, even the prices, all be down in the description for you. Starting us off, number 25 from Concept. That's the Cryo. You can actually get these in, well, a bunch of different flavors. Now, mine is the larger budget version with a three and a half inch D2 blade and some really nice micarta scales. Really good uh, traction going on. You can see it's got the multiple deployment options. I kind of wish it did have a forward finger choil, but hey, not the end of the world. Nice action. I got to lean in for number 24 because it's this little guy, the Odium from Civivi. You know, this one came really close to not making the list because, well, because of its smaller size. I just, I wasn't too sure how easy it would be to uh, flick open this 2.6 inch D2 blade. But as you can see, man, was I wrong. Oh yeah, this thing, this is good to go. Next up, 23, I get from SRM. That's the 9201. The three and a half inch D2 blade is really one of my favorites because of this clip point. You know, it doesn't have like an exaggerated trailing point. You know, it's pretty conservative. I kind of like their version of the axis lock and it came from the factory with just the right amount of spring tension. Number 22, I got from Artisan Cutlery. That's going to be the RKO. Honestly, either size is going to work okay here. I just went with the uh, much smaller 3.07 inch D2 blade. And I was so surprised to see how easy, how easy this is to uh, Spidey flick open because, well, you know, smaller the knife, the more difficult it becomes to do that. Kind of like the Odium. Number 21, it's going to be a Kershaw. That's the Highball XL. I don't think I have, I don't think I have too many knives in my collection with this wide of a fuller, but you know what? It works, it works really good. And it does have, so up at the top, it has a little bit like of an edge to it. I like that because that's just gonna help to catch my finger so I can easily flick out that 3.3 uh, inch D2 blade. Next up is gonna be a Kubi at number 20. That's the Vagrant. If you happen to live somewhere that maybe has blade length, restrictions, you really need to know that the blade measures slightly over three inches at about 3.15. I was kind of surprised to see the Aus 10 steel. I mean, I was totally expecting D2 here. Now, if you're looking for maybe one of these with a thinner handle, you might want to go ahead and upgrade, pick up that S30V version. But, you know, the unfortunately, it's going to cost you double what this does. 19 is going to be from Wee Knife. It's a Sakshi. I know that some will call it a fuller and then others may, uh, you know, consider it a, a nail nick. You know, I just like that we're seeing more of this kind of stuff in production folders. There are actually a couple different versions out there. Mine just so happens to have the, uh, it's the black wash 3.3 inch 20 CV blade, which I think, man, doesn't that just look great up against those uh, wood scales with the black liners? 18. How about another Kubi? That's the KU 322. Speaking of wide blades, wait till you see this. Yeah, check out that profile. 3.39 inch D2 blade. We do get a, we get a couple of different opening options. But notice here, it's got like a combination thumb hole, fuller kind of thing going on. I haven't been able to actually use it 
to open the blade. Now I bring it up because I know I've talked to some of you that say, oh yeah, you, I, I can use the fuller to open the knife, but maybe it's a lefty thing. I don't know because there is just not nearly enough material for me to catch my finger on. We should probably check that action while we're at it. Oh my God. 17 is going to be an SRM and that's the 1168. I think it might have something to do with the height of this D2 blade because I don't know about you, that sure doesn't look like it's three and a half inches long. Now, I'm not crazy about the handle. Well, specifically that notched out section. I get why they did it because now you can see, yeah, the access to the lock bar is really easy. And yeah, the thumb hole on both sides super easy to get at. All right, let's do number 16. So from Civivi, it's going to be the Wyvern. I was kind of shocked to see that these are now discontinued. I mean, you can still, you know, you can still find them for sale, but I, I wouldn't wait too long because this is a, this is a great knife and you really don't want to miss out on it. Now at number 15, I think that this is the only Tanto on the list. It's from Civivi, the Keen Natter. The only knife on this list that has a thumb stud fuller combination going on. And it's one of the few to have three different opening options because back here, yeah, there's a uh, flipper tab, which works really nice. And I may not be the biggest fan of Tanto blades out there, but I do. I really do love this one, especially that blade. Check out that darker stone wash finish on that three point four, eight inch N690 blade. All right, we're going to stick with Civivi for number 14. That's the riffle. There's going to be two different deployment options, that oversized uh, thumb hole slot, whatever the heck you want to call it. And then of course the flipper tab. Gosh, dang, that action is so nice. But did you know this is blade? That is going to be, well, that's pretty much all belly on that 3.46 inch 14C 28N Sandvik steel blade. I do like the variety that Civivi is doing, but I just wonder how many different blade steels are they actually going to use? Number 13 is going to be from Kubi. It's the Royal KU321. For me, this is one of those knives that are just much easier to spidey flick open than it is to go ahead and use that, that front flipper. The 2.99 inch D2 blade has such a good looking shape to it. I usually love, you know, forward finger choils, but I think that this knife looks way better without it. In the 12 spot, I got a Kaiser. That's the October. I hope you can see this because of the red, the red on red action that's going on here. But I really, I don't mind the, uh, the price on this all that much because of all that we get in return. I mean, there's, look at that, my card of scales, a 20 CV blade, and the three different opening options, thumb hole, fuller, and then of course, look at that. Yeah, it's got that little uh, like low profile kind of flipper tab. Oh, and I can't forget, yeah, that nice big forward finger choil. Number 11, it's going to be the medium honey badger in D2. You had to know that this one would eventually show up. I mean, after all, it's like one of my favorite budget fidget knives of all time. I mean, even though it's a little expensive for a knife with D2 steel and FRN scales, but, and it is still just such a good time to carry. So are you tired of seeing this one yet? From Petrified Fish at number 10, it's the Beluga. So tell me, are you getting tired of seeing this? You know, I don't, I don't think I am yet because... It's a full-size knife with a K110 blade and two different ways to open it. You already saw the uh, the fuller, and then it also has the uh, that top flipper. But honestly, most of the time, I just go ahead and use, I just use that fuller because the front flipper, that's kind of, it's kind of pointy. Now, if you use my link that'll be down in the description, you know, go to Amazon right now because currently there's like, five different versions for you to pick from. How about a Ferrum Forge at number nine? It's the Stinger. Well, I think they finally figured out that uh, people 
love this knife because have you noticed the price? It's yeah, it's been going up. Now this 3.25 inch nitro V blade along with that thinner handle, these are just the perfect platform for a, a fuller instead of thumb studs. I mean, eh, plus it would look kind of, I think it would look kind of weird on this knife, but man, is that action good. Number eight, it's going to be a Benchmade. How about the Sheep's Foot Gratillion? I'm going to keep it kind of short with this knife because honestly, I mean, is there really anything that I could possibly say about it that hasn't already been said a million times? I mean, full-size Griptilian, sheep's foot blade. Yummy. Number seven is going to be one of my more recent pickups, and it's from Kubi. That's the Drake. This is the newer one in S30V, but the D2 version, that really might be worth a look. You know, if you want to get one of these, that's going to cost a couple bucks less. Now, it, it has what I like to call the trifecta. So it's got the two two different opening options, thumb hole and that flipper tab, and a finger choil. Uh, well, somewhat usable finger choil. Yeah, that is, that's kind of actually on the small side, but it's my very first Kubi with this S30V blade steel. And I got to tell you so far, the 3.46 inch blade Oh yeah, this thing has worked out well. Did you see that action? Sitting at number six, I got a Civivi. How about the shredder? I think that this is probably, yeah, this is probably the, the best slicer on the list because, well, yeah, you get a thinner blade stock and on top of that, it's even got a hollow grind. And you know what? I totally forgot that this actually has two different uh, deployment options. Yeah, you can either use that, that uh, thumb hole, thumb slot, whatever you want to call it, or that flipper tab. But this is going to be one of those knives that just about anyone, myself included, can you know flick open that 3.7 inch D2 blade. Number five, courtesies of Mojave Outdoor, it's the Kaiser Sheepdog. I think you can pretty much tell, you know, just by just by looking at it, that it's going to be a great spidey flicker. That I mean, that thumb hole, it's just positioned perfectly, like exactly where it needs to be. Man, is that detent strong. And the action, oh yeah, that big heavy cleaver blade, that could probably be on washers and it would still drop shut. Number four, how about this beauty from Civivi? It's the Dogma. Ah, uh, now this is, this is one of my all-time favorite Civivi knives. I really, I really need to carry this more because I, I totally forgot just how beautiful it is. And I've tried both D2 versions and not only do I like the feel of this Fuller, I just think it looks way better. And these brass scales, I mean, they're just so unique that most of the time, I don't even notice the extra weight. Now, I definitely know a couple people that are going to be excited to see this at number three from Real Steel. It's the Griffin. Now, for me, the absolute best way to open this is, is with the Spidey Flick, which, to be honest, when I'm carrying it, I probably do that 95% of the time. That's how I open the blade. And we'll say, ah, the other 5%. I just go ahead and use that that button lock. But the only reason that this was not in the number two spot is really just because of those aluminum scales. Yeah, they are just, they're pretty slick. And it's to the point where, you know, I have dry hands anyway. So I just have to be, I'm, I'm kind of careful when I'm uh, fidgeting with it because I don't want it to drop. Number two is going to be the Pilar 3 from CRKT. Being left-handed, the fact that this is so dang easy to spidey flick was really kind of surprising because of that frame lock. But yeah, as you saw, I mean, this thing flies open. And even when, even when my thumb is like kind of resting on the lock bar, 
I mean, it still fires. Before showing number one, I got a really quick honorable mention. It's going to be the Kaiser Cormorant. I really hate to keep doing this to you guys because, I, you know, I know that these are well, kind of hard to find. But I got to be honest, it is, it's simply just an awesome Spivey flicker. All right, so you ready to see it? I think number one is going to be an obvious choice. It has to be the PM2. But really, you could have just about any, you know, any Spyderco knife in the number one spot. I mean, the Sage, great to flick. The Para 3, ooh, even better to flick. Dare I try the Manix 2? Oh, yes. You should see a video up on your screen. That's one that I, I personally went ahead and picked it out for you to watch next. And if you like what I'm doing... Hit subscribe. But I got to run, though. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you at the next video. Remember, oh, new ones every Monday.